I am checking out this morning and I just wanted to show you before I check out what the bathroom looks like. This is the worst bathroom I've ever had for access. So to begin with, the toilet is there and there's a step up into the toilet. And then the bath is here and there's a step up into the bath. There is no access for a disabled person. The shower head is fixed at head height and the bath floor is slippy. So what did I do? Well, I'll show you. You've got to be inventive around here. So I got a chair from the dining room. Luckily it's vinyl covered and I put it in the bathroom here. So here's the chair. It's a bit slidey, but um, yeah, I carried on with that. And there's a the chair, but there's no other choice. It's a bit slidey on this floor. So I've got the chair right up against the stair. Then I used that hand towel on the floor of the bath in order to, uh, to make sure I didn't slip. The grip rail there on the bath, I used as a handle and the taps, I knelt on them with my right knee. Getting in and out was really tricky, especially since you can't sit on the edge of this bath. The dramas you have when you're a disabled person, you've always got to be thinking on your feet uh, to try and sort out problems that you're constantly facing. I'm back, just in time to leave again to drive to Dunedin in the morning. <sighs> anyway, um, what we did today in our final um, training session was we went out onto the Northern Motorway bike track in Christchurch. Now, I wish there was a track like this in Invercargill because um, it is a total, completely sealed bike track that goes for miles and miles and is got no traffic, just bikes and the odd walker and it's very well used. It, it um, was a great track to ride. Um, so yes, we did that in a couple of little groups and um, yeah, I was a wee bit slow off the back um, trying to work out what the pace is for this little old leg and it's done a lot of stuff in the last couple of days. So I just rode up what is, an, is a relatively okay pace for me um, and yeah, happy enough. weekend in itself has given me an awful lot to think about and I am still trying to work out what my sporting um, journey is going to be next. I really do want to do triathlon but I'm just not sure within the um, para classification boundaries I am going to fit because of the continu continuous problem I'm having with this left leg. And I don't know whether I'll get the opportunity to try and see if it will run with me or not. Plus, I've got the knee replacement to um, also bear in mind, which is coming up to three years old. Um, yes, so I've got an lot, awful lot to think about. And I was sitting in the airport with Dale McDonald from Paralympics New Zealand. We were sitting waiting for a planes. She was going one way and I was going the other. And we're having a little old chat and about, you know, the whole, how, how, where do I go from here? I feel like uh, the classification system with regards to cycling isn't really working my favour that much. Um, anyway, we had a good old chit chat and she gave me some options I just had not even thought of before. I'm going to have to give it some good um, good old thought, uh, do a bit of research and um, yeah, before I can reveal what that might be and whether I'm going to go ahead and try that or not. Meanwhile, I'm going to still keep pursuing the cycling, see if I can persuade this left leg to do what I want it to do and keep on uh, learning because um, you aren't uh, doing anything to move forward unless you're learning. So I have loved the weekend completely, loved it because I got the one thing that I was really hoping to get out of it is exactly what I did get out of it and that was to speak to people who get it, who understand the challenges, who share the same frustrations. They don't even need to have the same disabilities, 
but they just know how life is for you and share the frustrations of that. Uh, equally, being with people like that who are completely accepting of you, whoever you are, wherever you came from, whatever your age you are, whatever your disability is, nobody asks you any questions and nobody judges you at all. I wish society was like that. Um, and I wish that I could plonk myself in that little bubble more often because it really does give you an awful lot of confidence. So thank you, Dale and Laura and Jason and um, everybody else who has been involved in making this camp happen. I am going to give it some good old thought as to what I'm going to do next. And meanwhile, I'm going to keep on swimming and cycling and doing team multi-sports, working on Zwift. Uh, and in the midst of all of that somewhere, maybe I'll start a return to work as well, perhaps. Anyway, uh, the one reflection I'm going to leave you with is the fact that I've had some good feedback of some people at really in really high places and they have all been amazed at to, as to where I am at right now. Only six to eight weeks after having ridden a bike outside and only a year after an amputation. I'm being told, and this is not new to me, I'm being told that I need to give myself a break. I need to actually acknowledge all of the great stuff I'm doing and I need to exercise some patience. And if you know me even a tiny bit, you'll know none of those three things are new. So I am going to go and drink some beer and go to bed early, I think, because I've got to get up early tomorrow and drive another couple of hundred kilometres to see a man about a leg. So have a lovely evening. And I'll talk to you again. Two.